Hi there, RC Girl here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys my full RC car and truck collection. People have been asking for this video for a while and I'm stuck inside doing a little social distancing, but I am gonna show you guys all my RC cars and trucks. From the very first RC kit that I ever got up into some of the more recent builds. Stay tuned. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Here you're gonna find RC reviews, tips and tricks, run videos, flight videos, and other things related to RC. So if you guys wanna see more, make sure you like and subscribe. So let's start off with the very first RC that I ever got, the Team Associated B3 Buggy Kit. Shout out to Hot Rod Hobbies in Santa Clarita, California. A couple years ago, I decided to dust this off and modernize my electronics. I did repaint a body shell though from the old tattered one. I used paint masks to get this flame feature. I think for getting back into RC, I did a pretty good job with this. I'm keeping that retro vintage look with the bright colors. For electronics, I went with a budget build. I'm using all Hobby King electronics. This is a Turnigy servo. I'm running a Flysky three channel receiver and transmitter. And then lastly, I'm running a Trackstar 3900 KV brushless motor ESC combo. Compared with my old Rooster one that I had back in the day, <laughs> you were lucky if you got reverse on those. I definitely wasn't a racer. I was actually more into the building aspect of it. This is before I knew about RC crawlers. I have a couple videos on it, including the BEC installation. So make sure you guys check those out if you want to see them. Next, I have the Team Low C Triple XT two-wheel drive truck. This was my brother's, so when I got the B3, this was the one that he picked out. I did do a ton of upgrades to it, like these sand paws here. I've taken it on the beach a couple times. I have a video on that. Number five designs, custom airbrush this body for me. I have a super cheap motor ESC combo in here. I think these are from Ghoul RC. I got them on Amazon. I'm not gonna be bashing these around anymore. They're kind of shelf queens at the moment. Definitely a keepsake. This is my first window into hobby grade RC. Now I have the 1-8 scale Basher Sabretooth from Hobby King. This RC was featured in my very first video on YouTube. I did an unboxing. This thing was a birthday present and it kind of kicked off my YouTube channel. This was one of my first RCs that had modernized components. Still covered in a ton of sand. Took it out to the beach recently with my Pro MT and skipped it over water. This thing came with the ugliest painted body. So the first thing I did was get a 1-8 scale Punisher body from J Concepts. Got a couple of those. This is a metallic blue backed in black with some smoke window tint. I have a spring upgrade video. That was one of my first upgrades. It's a pretty heavy chuggy, so I had to up the spring rate. These are big bore shocks. These are upgraded wheels. I have Badlands on Desperado rims. It came with dish wheels that were kind of cheap looking. My electronics need a little cleaning in TLC, but I'm running an upgraded Trackstar servo. I'm also running a BEC. I have a 1-8 scale motor with two fans and a heat sink. Otherwise, it's mostly stuck. This thing is a beast, scary fast. I don't know if they're still making parts for it. I know Hobby King recently released the Berserker, which is an upgraded version of this. So I'm not sure if they're still making parts. They're kind of hard to come by. Definitely a great value RC and I've had a ton of fun with this thing. Next, I have my twin RR10 Axial Bombers. These went with me to Axial Fest. They're super, super dirty. I did the Scale Ultra at Axial Fest 2019. I did get first place in the women's class in the Scale Ultra. Definitely encourage more women to get involved next year. While they do need a little bit of maintenance and some work, let's check them out. I did an unboxing video on one of these. They've been out for about six years and they actually just recently discontinued the kit version. So you can still get a few RTRs, I believe. This one has bed liner on the panels. I also have my tech inspection stickers from Axial Fest 2019. I have a curved five inch LED light bar from my Trick RC and some light pods. I also have sway bars on the rear. These are from Hot Racing. There is a little torque twist on the bombers. They tend to roll over. For my second one, I have metal panels. These are from Amazon from Luxury RC. I also have a light kit on this one, running an R30 servo on both of them. I've upgraded metal links also from Amazon on both of these. Stock brush motor ESC combo. I did put a heat sink on the motor and a fan on the ESC to prevent overheating during Axial Fest. Bombers are kind of my go-to rig, super capable, can handle a lot of terrain. Honestly, these are the ones I use the most. I don't think I have a run video on any of them. I just kind of have fun with them. Okay, next we have the Axial Capra. This is a super capable 1.9 crawler. I did build it from the kit version. It's pretty highly upgraded. I have a Spectrum 6250 servo. This is a really nice all metal gear waterproof servo. I'm running 90 millimeter shocks from Odd6 Racing. These are the Voodoo dual springs. I'm running them just with grease. They're not oil filled. 
The Axial Capra features Curry F9 portal axles. Really, really cool. This is the first time Axials introduced portal axles in one of their rigs. With this rig, this is also the first time I experimented with airbrushing panels. I airbrushed these panels with a kit that I got on Amazon. I have a full video on it. For my first airbrush job, I think it turned out really cool. I'm running Ot6 Racing Capone 1.9 bead locks. These are their variable offset rims. For my tires, I have KLRM Vex Gold Compound. These are their mud tires in their softest compound. I'm also running brass hubs in the front to add a little bit more weight down low. I don't think I ever did a run video on this one either, so apologies about that, but I was at Four Wheel Parts in San Jose for a JJ Customs Hobby Shop event. I did a little short edit for Facebook, so I'm gonna include some of that here. Overall, the Capra is one of my favorite rigs. So fun to drive, really nice design by Axial. Next, I have the Traxxas TRX4 Land Rover Defender. This was my very first RC crawler ever. I got it from RC Mart. RC Mart was actually one of the first companies that reached out to me to do a sponsorship. Appreciate them a bunch. This also has probably the most miles of any of my RC cars. I've taken it to Moab, taken it to Mammoth, lots of different places and holds a special place in my heart. I have a bunch of night custom scale details like these 3D printed windshield wipers, door handles, hood vents, hinges. They add a really nice scale touch to the body. I have a metal custom license plate here. One thing I do need to upgrade though are my wheels. I upgraded to Ya yeah Racing metal axles and added a ton of Ya yeah Racing brass upgrade parts. So my rig is definitely, I think over 10 pounds. The stock foams and tires just cannot handle all that weight. So that's something I'm looking into. I'm running a full My Tricker C light kit with rock lights and a five inch LED light bar. I got these limb risers here off of eBay. People ask me about that often. So yeah, I got them on eBay, they're super cheap. And of course you have to have all your overlanding gear on your roof rack. I did a full video on the Desert Lizard internal spring shocks with the piggyback here. Those are holding up pretty well. I'm getting a little bit of oil leakage to be honest. I might end up going back to the stock shocks. Everyone says that they're the best. My servo died pretty quickly, so I upgraded that to a Hobby King Trackstar TS910. Did a full video on that as well. I installed an ESS OnePlus sound system. This makes engine noises. I did a video on that as well. <coughs> I didn't upgrade much of the electronics. I'm still running the stock ESC and motor. This is a 21 turn Titan brushed motor and the XL5 speed control from Traxxas. There's not a ton of tunability here on this ESC. So that's something that I've been wanting to upgrade for a little while now. You can only set the drag brake to either zero, 50 or 100%. I'd like some more tunability there. Then we have three micro servos, two to run your front and rear diff locker and one for the high speed, low speed. People have been asking how the brass is holding up and it's holding up really nicely. Overall, one of my favorite trail rigs. And like I said, this has gone the most miles of any of my RCs. All right, next we have the XS01 Jeep Wrangler Moab Edition. This is with the hard body. Extra Speed came out with the XS01 a year or so ago, and I think they're actually on their XS03. They've made a couple changes since their original release. There was a little slop in the engagement of the transmission and a little bit of torque twist as well with the body. But other than that, we have all metal axles, all metal components. I also got this one as a kit, really fun to assemble. I have a build series on this and also paint my first ever hard body. This hard body is so detailed. This is also an extra speed hard body. The body is mounted with neodymium magnets, really easy to get on and off. It has this really neat V8 engine box to fit your motor in. I had to do a custom mod for that to fit my Hobbywing Axe Zero and setup. This is a brushless censored motor ESC combo. And if you're looking into a censored motor for your crawler, this is a really great cost-effective option to go with. It's a great addition to my RC fleet. 
So this little guy, this is the Fox Team Associated 128 scale short course truck. I got this at Seattle Classic last year, which is a mountain bike festival in the Monterey area. I was at the Fox tent and they heard I was RC girl and was super into RCs and so they gave this to me. You charge it off the radio, it plugs directly into the radio via a cable. This is a great RC for indoors. I actually keep it on my coffee table. It's fun to take out if people are over. Next we have the ECX Barrage Gen 2. This is a great kit for your kids that are interested in getting into RC and you don't want to spend a ton and something that they can assemble themselves with maybe a little bit of supervision and support. It is a simple C-frame chassis. It comes with a clear body as well. With leftover servo parts, I made this cool little box here that I have as a scale detail and also a slinky strap holding on my spare tire. It came with Falcon tires, but I upgraded I don't know if I actually technically upgraded. They're knockoff super swampers. They're pretty stiff compound. I would actually say they're not the best compound. So don't go with these. Also upgraded to metal bead locks. The electronics are also pretty simple. So you can switch between NIMH and LiPo battery and also a few drag brake settings, I believe. I took the sticker off the motor to allow for a little more heat dissipation. You can run up to a two cell LiPo off this. This was also one of my first partnerships with Horizon Hobby after the Hobby Co acquisition. Super thankful for Horizon Hobby. This is the Axial 118 scale Can-Am side-by-side. I did an unboxing and run video on this. I added a two inch light bar on the front. This is budget friendly, great for the kids as well. It's actually really fast. People have also told me that you can actually run LiPos in this as long as you have a low voltage alarm on your battery so you don't ruin them. There is no low voltage cutoff for LiPos with the ESC. This also came to Axial Fest and this is all the dirt from Axial Fest. I've yet to clean it off, whoops. This is the 110 scale ProLine ProMT 4x4 monster truck. This thing is probably my fastest RC, super, super tough. Got this at AMA Expo in 2018 from the ProLine booth, thanks to Paul. This also has Primo electronics in it. I'm running a Tekken RX4 speed control with a T8 Gen 3 1 8 scale motor. I'm running a Reefs RC 400SC servo. Huge 1 8 scale big bore shocks. I'm running 2.7 inch Badlands tires. I also have sand paws for this thing. Took it to the beach recently with my basher saber tooth and skimmed it over water, got a couple runs with it, and then it sank. Fortunately, everything was okay except for the switch that turns on the ESC. So I need to get a new switch. It's out of commission right now. Totally worth it. I wish I had more footage, but this is the only footage that I had from that day. We have here the 1-9 Wraith. This was from JJ Customs Hobby Shop in San Jose, California. Shout out to him. This is all stock except for the wheels. I'm running Pitbull Growlers and Pitbull Beadlocks. Got these at Axial Fest at the Pitbull Tent. I keep a separate controller on this one. So if I have a friend that's coming along with me that's just getting to RC, this is the rig that I hand them. Really fun to drive, capable. I think it does need a little bit of weight to it, but overall I've kept it mostly stock and I'm really happy with it. Last but not least, we have the Axial SCX-102 Cherokee XJ. I did a whole build series on this, installing a light kit, installing my first SOR vinyl wrap for the body, installing my first winch as well. I also have a lot of miles on this one. Recently, I converted the chassis into a leaf sprung Toyota Hilux. The Toyota is super cool. I'm not gonna talk too much about it. In my latest build series, I cover this in a lot of detail, so I'll make sure to put those links in the description box. But Axial just released the SCX-10 3 platform. Really exciting. Looks like it comes with a couple cool upgrades like a dig and two-speed transmission, portal axles. I wonder if it'll fit the previous SCX-102 bodies. I would love to bring back my Cherokee XJ. We'll see. I haven't had a chance to see one in person yet. They are on pre-order. And then last but not least, the SCX-24 just arrived on my doorstep this week. This is gonna be a great little crawler for indoors. I think I'm gonna do an unboxing video, so stay tuned for that. So let's total up all the RCs. We have the Team Associated B3 Buggy, the Team Losi Triple XT, the Basher Sabretooth, the two Bombers, Axial Capra, Traxxas TRX4, Extra Speed XS01, Team Associated 128 Scale Short Course Truck, ECX Barrage Gen 2, Axial Can-Am Yeti Jr., ProLine Pro-MT 4x4, 
Axial Wraith 1.9, Axial SCX 10.2 Cherokee, which is now a truck, so we're going to count that once. And then last but not least, the SCX 24. That brings my total to 15 RC cars and trucks. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a ton of fun showing you guys my full RC car and truck collection. I've been wanting to do that for a long time now, so it was really fun. A little trip down memory lane for some of them, especially the Basher Sabretooth. I owe the start of my channel to that RC. I've also done some full videos on some of these, so I'll make sure to put links to those videos in the description box below. All right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you later.